Hello and welcome to this very first video tutorial on using Rhino 6. In this lesson I'm going to teach you how to open up Rhino and also how to choose your units and your tolerance. Okay. Now right now you'll notice that Rhino is open. If you've never opened Rhino before, don't worry. I'm going to close it and show you how to open it. All right. Thing I want you to pay attention to in this particular lesson is right down here at the bottom. It says feet. That means that anything that I draw in Rhino is going to be in terms of feet, not inches, not millimeters, not light years, not anything else. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just close this window for a second. Okay. And now right here on my desktop, I have the option to open up Rhino 6. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Double click on it, open it up. Now when you click on that, you're going to have this, uh, this screen right here that says templates. You have the option of drawing in whatever unit you wish. So centimeters, feet, inches, feet, or inches, meters, millimeters, centimeters, feet, inches, etc. All right. We're just going to go ahead and open up a template using feet. You'll notice that this little hand icon is hovering over where it says large object feet. And if we look to the right in the yellow box here, it says large objects feet. It's going to be our default template. Use this template for building objects the size of a truck or larger. Okay, and then it also shows you the absolute tolerance. That's pretty good in terms of architecture, which is primarily what we're going to be working with today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on large objects feet. And you'll notice it's opening, it's actually opening up a new one for me. And right down there it says feet. Now, if for some reason I discovered that I needed to be working in inches or millimeters, all right, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little something. So, I'm going to just draw a single line here. I know we don't know how to draw lines yet, but that's all right. So, when I draw this line, I'm going to say I want this line to be 10, and it, you can see there's a up here in the command line. I want this to be 10 units long. Enter. And there it is. I've got a line right there that is 10 units long. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a dimension here. Okay, and again, you don't know how to do this stuff yet, but I'm just proving a point. All right, so it says here that this is 10 units long, this particular line right here that is highlighted yellow. And it also says that that is in feet. Okay, another way to figure out how long something ends is there's a command called distance, and you can just type that in DIST, enter. First point is here, second point is there, and it says right up here in the command line that the distance is 10 feet. Okay, now let's say that I suddenly realized that I needed this to be in inches and not feet. Okay, now in your default panel, you'll have this little gear here, right? You have the option to click on that gear. And right here, there's something in this uh, flyout menu. It says units. Now, if I click here where it says units, it currently says that I'm in feet. Okay. Now, if I want to change that to inches, and I'm going to go ahead and do that, change from feet to inches, and I hit OK, I'm going to get, it's going to do two things. Number one, it's going to change my units from feet to inches. That means any time I draw anything, it's going to be measured in inches. And so this, where it says down, right down here, where it says feet, it will change for inches. So I'm going to say OK. But now watch, I'm going to get a second window. It says model units are changing from foot to inch. Do you want to scale the model by 12? Now if I say yes, watch what this is going to be, right? You'll notice that this line is now 10 feet. I'm going to say yes. And that's OK. Now I've got an object here. And you'll notice it's much longer. Now if I jump on here, that number 10 changed from 10 feet to 120 inches, right? So if I run the distance command here, D-I-S-T, and I click there to there, you'll notice my distance is 120 inches, which is 10 feet, okay? Now one more time for you, I'm going to go ahead and change that back because you notice here we're in inches, we're going to change to feet. So just to show you that a second time, I'm going to click on the options and I'm going to change from inches to feet. And I want you to see what happens if we don't change that, if we don't uh, change this next pop up. So I'm going to go inches to feet. OK. 
Um, model units change from inches to foot. Do you want to scale the model? This time I'm going to say no. Okay, and it's changing things up. And now it says that this distance is 120. So if I, now this should be 120 feet. So I'm going to click here, there, and then there. And it says up here in the distance, 120 feet. So you can see, depending upon your answer to that particular fly-up that says, do you want to change the scale or the distance appropriately, you're going to get a very, very different answer. Okay, So this is something you want to make sure that you are in your units, your correct units, very, very early on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop the lesson here. And in the next lesson, we're going to learn about navigation. Thank you.